שוכים לך נפשם, מהפי שם בך השם, המציא מחילה בשעת הנהירה. Welcome to One Shul, everyone. I'm Kohenet Ketsira and very pleased to be here with you all to close the gates of Yom Kippur with you and for those who are fasting in whatever way is right for them to bring us to the end of our fast. I want to mention, because you will hear them, there are people physically here with me tonight. <laughs> so Lori and Sean are just over here off camera, but you will hopefully hear them singing beautifully and adding in fantastic harmony, especially when I go off pitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been posting the link to the Machzor in the chat room. You have it there. It is the end for many of us of a long day of prayer, introspection, uh, being tired, a couple of naps. My, my great aunt taught me the importance of the Yom Kippur nap. <laughs> <sighs> so I hope as we go through our service tonight, you'll feel free and the open invitation to share whatever has come up for you in the last day since I saw many of you uh, of what 
What did you learn this Yom Kippur? What is the meaning out of your fast? And again, however you're fasting, uh, whatever that means to you uh, in Yom Kippur this year. So we'll begin on page two with Anabekoach, which always feels like a good one this time of year of the strength, as well as untying whatever final tangles are with us as we finish Yom Kippur. Ana bekoach, gedul yat yamincha, tatir tzerura, tzerura. Oh God, please help us now, with your strength and great know-how. Untie our tangles, and set us free. Kabel rinat amcha, sag venetareinu. No, ra, I always get this wrong. I just said that. Sorry, and it's late. I'm blaming the fasting right now. Back to the English. Oh, God, please shelter us. Make us clear and help us see. Please bless us and how we be. Someday, I will convince Tehama to convince to show me and convince me how she got the syllables on the last two words to work. No matter how many times I listen to that track, it always trips me up. Ah. Oh. So our service tonight, it's Naila. It's the end. The gates closing. We'll be moving crisply through our service. If you are on the East Coast or further east than that, since I see Sev is with us again tonight, and Gabriel, it's the middle of the night for you both. Uh, for those of us who are fasting, we're going to move this so we get to eat in a prompt amount of time. For those of you towards the West Coast, you might hope we extend this a little bit for you. We're not tonight because <laughs> I'm hungry and there are homemade bialis to my right that appeared in my house. But we also will move at the right pace of this coming together. And we move almost immediately into an Amidah tonight. And it is really diving right into our service. Normally the Amidah is the pinnacle. We got a big warm up before you get to Shemona Esrei, right? You get a chance to, to pre-game this and to pre-pray <laughs> and all that preparatory work. But Na'ila, we're sort of in the assumption that we've been doing preparatory work all day. So if you haven't, no judgment, but I know this is going to feel like doing a bit of a cannonball into an icy cold lake. So our Amidah tonight is seven breaths. So while we're sort of cannonballing into an icy cold lake, still hopefully a chance to warm up into this if you are coming in from a different space. So this is from the Kohenet Sidor. It's actually a, a lovely new edition. I'm going to post in the chat room where you can find um, a more traditional Amidah, if that's what you need tonight, if that's what's calling to you. So I've posted a link to text you can find if that's what you need. And as always, for Amidah, stand as you are able or rise as you are able, fall to the earth if that is your practice or if you're seated like me, feet to the floor as best you can. Get yourself as aligned as you can, especially for this one, so the breath actually is able to move through your body. If you want to read with me, feel free, or if you want to just breathe in and out with these intentions, that invitation is open as well. Breathing in, I take breath into myself. Breathing out, I join the web of being. Breathing in, I rest in the present. 
breathing out, I am part of the past and future. Breathing in, I honor the shrine of my body. Breathing out, I honor the shrine of the cosmos. Breathing in, presence fills me. Breathing out, presence unfolds me. Breathing in, I witness what is broken. Breathing out, I bow to what is perfect. Breathing in, I offer gratitude for what is. Breathing out, I accept all that all changes and all that changes. Breathing in, I pray for peace for myself. Breathing out, I pray for peace for all beings. And let us say, Amen. 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 And if you need to take a few more breaths to be here, be now, be as present in this place, this space, this time as you're able, feel free. Just take another moment to let those breaths come in and come out. And we again move into confessional prayers gates are closing so we try to squeeze in just one or two more along the way and I want to invite you into a question an inquiry as we go through our service tonight and before we move into Vidui and Ashamnu so the gates are closing that's the metaphor that we've worked with for millennia around this service Na'ila it's the gates are closing are they closing and bringing you in? Are they closing and leaving you out? What are those gates that are closing? What does that mean to you personally? How can the gates of heaven never be closed? How are the gates of prayer, the gates of repentance ever closed? So what does it mean to you? Why are you praying these prayers tonight? before the gates close. What is special and unique about this time, this sacred span of time we've been in, that you need to do these prayers tonight? And if you're here, you must feel that need. It's not that someone else has told you, you're here very much by choice tonight, all of you. So we are here because we feel a calling, we feel a need to say something tonight, to complete a cycle, to complete a spiral. So let that work through you as you're saying these prayers. And as always, if something comes up you want to share, put it out there for us. Let us learn from each other as we go. And I'll invite you also into that practice. Since our Vidui and Ashamnu blend together in this service, no beating of the breasts, none of that. Let's be gentle with ourselves and cultivate compassion to ourselves as we go through these prayers. And whatever that means, wherever you feel that space, be gentle with your body where all of these missings of the mark may reside. Yeah, <laughs> Dear 
I can't tell you how nice it is tonight to have the vocal support <laughs> of two other people that I can hear singing. I can sort of always hear all of you. Oh, thank you. I want to thank Lori and Sean for being here. Oh, the vocal support of that and just that I can, those notes that are always a struggle for me that I can lighten up right now and have two other people lifting those is oh such a blessing tonight. <laughs> thank you, thank you for being here. And I want to just take a moment to acknowledge some of what's being said in the chat room right now because thank you, all of you, for sharing what you're, you're learning and you're experiencing through all of this because I learn from you every time and it it enriches my experience as well, and I, I hope everyone's. Crystal, you were saying how it was a hard night and day, and it feels like everything is coming out so the next year can be fruitful. <sighs> yes, growth hurts. <laughs> growth is not fun sometimes. I spent a lot of my day, um, actually, I've begun... Um, studying Musar and uh, reading on that today, and it's a huge piece of it. And Musar is a Jewish spiritual practice of uh, aligning your values with your actions. So it's prayer, meditation, uh, intellectual work, journaling work, and it's a very ancient, it's over a thousand years old, that has been brought into the modern time. And it's something that was refrained throughout everything is by the way, this might hurt a little as you go, <laughs> and be gentle with yourself if you're not feeling anything, because sometimes it takes a bit for that work to catch up. So whether you're in that space like crystal of like, oh, this is hurting a little bit tonight, or you're like, I don't get what you people are talking about. It's okay wherever you are on that spectrum. And I, a couple other things that people are just being so fruitful in the chat room. Hope it was sharing that her feeling, her understanding right now of what the gates are closing on is the gates are closing on the mistakes I have made on past hurts, past perceptions, past failures. The gates are closing on what no longer serves us. 
Ken Yehi Ratzon. So much of that. So as you are moved, if you are moved to continue sharing what you've learned, what the gates are closing on for you so we can bless that up for you. And feel free to throw those Kenya Hirat zones into the chat room with me to support everyone as they are sharing their learnings. And welcome, a few more people have joined us. So welcome, welcome. We are on page five of your Machsor. Moving through the Vidui and the Ashamnu. And again, I want to invite you to not beat yourself up. Let's be gentle. Let's lead with love and compassion for ourselves first and for the world. Because in the end, whether it feels like it or not, most people are actually doing the best they can. And sometimes that's kind of sad because it doesn't seem like they're doing very good. <laughs> Or the actions they're taking don't seem to be healing to the world. <sighs> but in the end, we're all working with what we got. So, yep, we've all made a lot of mistakes. We've individually made them. We've missed the mark. Collectively, as a society, as a community, as a tribe, as a world, we've certainly missed the mark in a few ways. But let's love those up as opposed to beating them up. So we have trespassed, we have lied, we have gossiped, we have slandered, we have scoffed, we have acted selfishly, we have looked away, we have been cruel, we have corrupted, we have forgotten, we have robbed, we have harmed, we have damaged, we have, we have oppressed, oppressed we, have we have enslaved, enslaved we, have we have raped, raped we have taken, taken life. Who is we? We is humanity. We is in some way all of us because one of us has done these things. This night we do accept responsibility for all of humanity and we speak as one voice. And because we have also done a lot of good, let's remind ourselves and the Holy One, however you understand the Holy One, of the good. And let's put these out there as intentions for the marks we want to hit in this coming year. And again, thank you so much to my co-conspirator, my co-creator of Chala Club, uh, Rabbi Andrea, for sending this my way. We have loved, we have, we have blessed, we, we have, have grown, grown, we have spoken positively, positively. We, we have raised up, we, we have, have shown compassion, compassion. We, we have acted enthusiastically, enthusiastically. We, we have been, been empathetic, empathetic. We, have we have cultivated truth, truth. We, we have given good, good advice. advice, we, we have, have respected, respected. We, we have learned, we have forgiven, we have been converted, we have been creative, we have stirred, we have been spiritual activists, we have been just, we have longed for Israel, we have been merciful, we have given full effect, effort, we have supported, we, we have, have contributed. contributed. We, we have, have repaired. Ken Yehi Ratzon. Holy One, weave compassion and grace. Be slow to anger and abounding in mercy and truth. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgressions and sin, and acquitting the penitent. May we find pardon. <coughs> oh, I felt that coming. Ah. May we find pardon for the many ways we have missed the mark. Open the gates of heaven and let us be woven into the fabric of your presence. And Amen. let us say, Amen. Amen. And to those of you sharing that the floodgates have opened, 
don't be ashamed of that. I certainly cry when I'm in services or ritual that are really moving me, and I sneeze actually too. It's an odd sign I have for myself that it's working. Uh, I sneeze. It's a very strange one, but it's how I know something's happening inside of me. I sneeze. And along with Musar, I've been studying, I'd say, a modern Western tradition that is so similar to Musar, which is the work of uh, Brene Brown. And if you don't know her work, phew, look her up. Um, being vulnerable at this moment in time is nothing to be ashamed of. It is a badge of courage that you can let it out. It means that you're showing up. You're not just sitting at home and saying, well, I don't feel like going to a service. I'm going to turn this thing on. It means you're doing the work and you're here and you're present. And I'm not judging if you're not crying, by the way, because if you're here, you're showing up. But however this is moving through you, it means you're showing up and it means you're being real and honest with yourself. So don't be ashamed of that. And even if you were in a room full of hundreds of people and the tear, the floodgates open on you, don't be ashamed of that. Like you're feeling we shut down in our society so much. I am the queen of that. I had a terrible refrain I used for years, which was repression is cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Super healthy, healthy life choice. Um, not a place I like to live anymore. And there's not always places you can let it out, but like services or ritual with physically with people or incorporeally through <laughs> chashmal, through the shefa to each other. Like, yeah, let it out. If you need to stand up, if you're like screaming at the top of your lungs right now, or again, if you're like, I don't know what the crazy lady's talking about, I'm okay with that too. Speaking of things the crazy lady is up to, we move into uh, Avinu Im Imenu tonight. So very similar to what we used for Kol Nidre, but here we open up to our mother, our father, our motherly father, our fatherly mother, Avinu Malkenu, but acknowledging the idea that God is neither male nor female. God is both and neither and all at the same time. That the Holy One is multi-gendered and multifaceted and in no way could ever simply be male or female.
Mother, show us how to nourish another. Givira, Queen, help us to use our strength for the benefit of others. Mayaledet, midwife, guide us as we are birthed into another year. Our Father, our Mother, hear our prayer. Chachma, wise woman, teach us to use wisdom with mercy. Mekonenet, morning woman, show us how to raise our voices for change. Nevia, prophetess, help us to hear the voice of the Holy One. Tsova, temple keeper, guide us through the gateways to a new year. Our Father, our Mother, hear our prayer. Ba'alat Ov, shamanus, teach us the forgotten ways. Doreshet, seeker, show us how to follow the path. Ohevet, lover, help us to love deeply, fully, truly. Leitzanit, fool, guide us to laugh as we speak truth to power. Our mother, our father, hear our prayer. Oreget, weaver, teach us to respect houses of holiness. Show us the connectedness of all things. Help us to weave lives full of meaning. Guide us as we wrap ourselves in the fabric of a new year. Our father, our mother, Hear our prayer. Avinu imenu. Avinu imenu. Avinu imenu. Chanenu vaanenu. Ken banu maasi. Asemanu sedaka vechesed. Asemanu sedaka vechesed vehoshiye. Theme, the gates are closing. There is an amazing prayer out of Sephardic tradition, El Nora Alila. And if you were here at the very, very beginning of our service, you heard the amazing Eyal Biton singing it. We're going to, now is the time I decide if I'm brave enough to sing or if I'm just going to say it. <laughs> it's always a mid course question mark. <laughs> But it's a beautiful, beautiful prayer, and we're going to do the chorus in English and Hebrew, and then we'll read through the English so we can feel the words in what is for most of us here our mother tongue. El Nora Alila, El Nora Alila. Hamsilanu mechila, bishat hanaila. El nora alila, el nora alila. Hamsilanu mechila, bishat hanaila. El nora alila, el nora alila. Hamsila nu mechila, bishat hanaila. And we're on page 12 if you've lost your place or are just joining us. 
God of all, God of might, grant us pardon in this hour as your gates are closed this night. We who are few raise our eyes to heaven's height, trembling, fearful in our prayer as your gates are closed this night. Pouring out our soul, we pray that the sentence you shall write shall be one of pardoned sin as your gates are closed this night. Our refuge, strong and secure, sure, rescue us from dreadful plight. Seal our destiny for joy as your gates are closed this night. Grant us favor, show us grace. But those who deny our right and oppress, you be the judge as your gates are closed this night. Page 13. Might have said the wrong number a moment ago. <laughs> Page 13, continuing. El Nora Alila, El Nora Alila, Hamsila Numechila, Bishat Haneila. Generations of our sires, strong in faith, walked in your light. As of old, renew our days as your gates are closed this night. Gather Judah's scattered flock unto Zion's rebuilt site and bless this year with grace divine as your gates are closed this night. May we all, both young and old, look for gladness and delight in the many years to come as your gates are closed this night. Michael, Prince of Israel, Gabriel, your angels bright with Elijah, come redeem as your gates are closed this night. And as you can tell, I stumble over English too. <laughs> I get ahead of myself and form new words. It's not just the Hebrew. So the Shema Narnaila is in a, an unusual place. We did the Amidah at the beginning and now we're at the Shema. Remember that in theory we already had Mincha, right? So we've already had a couple of prayers in there theoretically. So we're in kind of an interesting order. And for those of you seeing different page numbers than I am, fantastic, as long as we're all roughly doing the same thing. <laughs> no idea why you have different page numbers. <laughs> ah, it's a mystery right now. Great. Thank you, Hope, for sharing your page number. Hmm, so our Shema. We will say the Shema once. I have two versions of the Shema for you. There is masculine God language, there is feminine God language. You can say the English, you can say the Hebrew. You can also, as always with me, say whatever God name is resonant and true for you tonight. So we say that once, and then three times on the next page, whatever your next page is, we say, Ruch Shem Kavod Machuto Le'olam Va'ed. And that's something we usually whisper really quiet. But during the Ilah, we say it loud and proud mm -hmm. three times. And then seven times, either Adonai Hu HaElohim, or if you prefer, Shekhinah He HaElohim, or whichever God name you want to throw into that mix. So as the gates are closing on many things for us tonight, on our pasts, on our health issues, relationships, lack of kindness. I'm going back through what a few people shared. And social anxiety issues, depression, health, financial, marriage, relationships, whatever it is that those gates are closing on for you tonight. All the bad stuff that we're going to close out of the way. And I'm just going to throw in there, and it's the only thing I'll say about it. The gates that are soon to be closing on the longest election cycle in American history that desperately needs to end. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure my leanings are probably not a shock to anyone, but I'll refrain from stating them tonight for everyone. But may this election close on the longest, may the gates close on the longest election cycle in American history for an outcome that is good for the healing of all in this country. Amen. Amen. So whatever God name is true and resonant for you, share it in the chat room if you are so called so we can see the many faces of holiness that all are praying to tonight. And let's breathe through this Shema. We're going to take our time. It's one time through, but we're going to really take our time through this. And we're going to savor every single word. Begin with that Shema, right? Listen. We're commanding ourselves to listen, the Holy One to listen, everything to listen. Shh. <laughs> Breathe through the first word. Do that again. Shh. Mm. One more time. Shh. Mm. And then, as you intone through, give each word a full breath. Stop when you run out of breath and move on. Don't worry about where I am or where anybody else is. Just full breath on each word. Shana. Listen, you, all, you, God, wrestlers, the Holy One is the divine. The Holy One of all these many names is one. Three times. Ruch Shem Kavod, Malchuto, Leolam, Vaed. Baruch Shem Kavod, Malchuto, Leolam, Vaed. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Va'ed. Shekhinah Hi Ha Elohim. 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 And before we go into our closing prayer, there's one more song that just seems to want to come through. It's not in your Sidor. Or maybe it is, since you all have more pages than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I am not looking at the same version. This is awesome. <laughs> ah. Where 
Where you go, I will go, goddess. Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go, goddess. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie, goddess. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, goddess. Where you lie, I will lie. Cause your people are my people. Your people are mine. Your people are my people. You're divine, my divine. Where you go, I will go, Adonai. Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go, Adonai. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie, Adonai. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, Adonai. Where you lie, I will lie. Cause your people are my people. Your people are mine. Your people are my people. Your divine, my divine. Where you go, I will go ancestors where you go i will go where you go i will go ancestors where you go i will go where you lie i will lie ancestors where you lie i will lie where you lie i will lie ancestors where you lie i will lie Cause your people are my people, your people are mine, your people are my people, your divine, my divine. Where you go, I will go. What do we want to do? Where you go, I will go. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go. Brothers and sisters. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie. Brothers and sisters. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, brothers and sisters. Where you lie, I will lie. Cause your people are my people. Your people are mine. Your people are my people. Your divine, my divine. Where you go, I will go, divine love. Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go, divine love. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie, divine love. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, divine love. Where you lie, I will lie. Cause your people are my people. Your people are mine. Your people are my people. Your divine, my divine. Another suggestion. Where you go, I will go, Israel. Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go, Israel. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie, Israel. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, Israel. Where you lie, I will lie. 
Because your people are my people, your people are mine, your people are my people, your divine, my divine. Where you go, I will go, one show. Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go, one show. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie, one show. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, one show. Where you lie, I will lie. Cause your people are my people, your people are mine, your people are my people, your divine, my divine. Where you go, I will go, Holy One, where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go, Holy One. Where you go, I will go. Where you lie, I will lie, Holy One. Where you lie, I will lie. Where you lie, I will lie, Holy One. Where you lie, I will lie. Cause your people are my people, your people are mine, your people are my people, your divine, my divine. In the book of life, blessing, peace, and good sustenance, may we be remembered. And sealed in your presence. May we and all your people Israel and all the world for a happy life and peace. Humbly we pray in the gathering dusk. Let us be blessed with a year of life, health, achievement, and heart's content, hope, abundance, and wise pursuits. Peace and tranquility send to our land. Peace for all Israel and all the world. And let us say, Amen. Gemar Fatima Tava. May you be sealed. May the sentence the sentence that is written for you in the book of life, be one of your heart's content. May we have enough food to eat. May we have shelter to keep us warm. May we have enough money for internet to connect us all. <laughs> and for those things we need in life, and maybe just a few of those things we want. And maybe next year, a world huh, at peace. We can hope. But first within, then without. Lila Tov to you all. I hope to see you again soon here at One Shoal. I'll update the calendar soon with our next round of services. Soon, soon, soon. We'll be back for Shabbat. We'll be back for Rosh Chodesh, maybe a few other things. And I know many of us are hungry right now. Uh, but also for Chala Club, if you haven't tried that out, sign up. It's amazing. <sighs> Keep in touch on Facebook, through the email list, through the thousand other ways to find me personally. And I will see you here again soon. You are this community. One chill is made up of everyone who comes once or a thousand times. Your presence is something I'm deeply grateful for. Shana Tova. And I will see you, Holy One willing, again very soon.